unexplained mysteries of our time, at least here in Arizona today, marking 21 years since the Phoenix lights first appeared in the sky to this day. Nobody really knows what they were or where they came from. It's been that long, huh? This weekend you can relive the phenomenon with a documentary airing right here in the valley. Lena is over at the Harkins Shea 14 at Scottsdale Road and Shea with your preview of a mystery people are still curious about. The truth is out there, you guys. Do you guys remember this? Do you remember uh, the flood of phone calls coming into the newsroom? What is that? There's something in the sky. And everyone's saying, maybe it's Luke Air Force Base. Maybe it's Sky Harbor. Maybe it's something else. So this is uh, where we can get at least some of the answers uh, this weekend. So here at Harkins Shea, I'm here with Dr. Lin, Dr. Lin, but Dr. Kitai. And uh, tell me about what people can expect when they come here. I imagine a lot of people are saying, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Actually, I stayed anonymous for seven years as a medical doctor before I came forward, and we're so excited because now we have the data. This is 21 years of studying the data, and it still cannot be explained or denied, and we're so thrilled that Hark and Shea will, and, uh, will be hosting an event on Sunday. It's the only mainstream event of its kind where we show the documentary, our internationally award-winning documentary on the big silver screen. We have speakers, including Navajo Rangers, who are law enforcement studying these things, yeah. as well as a Zuni elder who talks about the Native American connection. That's, a, that's really profound and amazing. Um, Travis Walton, if you remember the movie. Well, Fire yeah, in the Fire in the Sky. That's another one here in Arizona as well. Absolutely. And uh, Councilwoman Frances Barwood, who was the only elected official who came forward to asked for a reenactment, which happened three years after the mass sighting. Three Air National Guards tried to reenact the Phoenix Lights and failed. And also we have this one wonderful doctor who also, an MD, who also stayed anonymous for 21 years. Yeah, the first time that we're going to hear from him about his experience. Absolutely. He was with his family coming up from Tucson to Phoenix, and it was right over their car for some time. And the, the amazing thing, too, is that the DOD just came forward in uh, December. A New, York, a, a New York Times article uh, divulged that Harry Reid actually requested a study. They are studying it now at the Pentagon. Um, and it was funded $22 million, and just like myself. I mean, they don't know what these things were, but they know that they are, and they're far advanced from what we have. So I know you've done a lot of talking about this, and you've met a lot of people who saw it, and, and what is the consensus among people who actually looked and saw it? What, what do most people say? Actually, there has not been one report, and this is important, of harm, threat, or abduction associated with the Phoenix Lights phenomenon. They were absolutely anom anom anomalous. Um, even our past former governor, Symington, who mocked the sighting in 97, came forward after the 10th anniversary to reveal bravely that he actually saw one of these mile-wide craft and larger and that it was otherworldly. And he's a pilot and award-winning um, Air Force uh, officer. And many, many people saw this. It was massive and the technology oh. was far advanced. It was huge. If you were here, you remember it. And you remember the next day, everyone was talking about that. Did you see that? Did you see that last night? Well, if you didn't see it or you want to see it again, then this weekend is the place for you at Harkin Shea. Sunday, one to five is when this uh, event and the documentary is happening. And of course, that Q&A. And it only cost you eight bucks. And then of course, there are discounts for senior citizens and the kiddos. So family-friendly event. You get to ask questions of people who were there and uh, kind of see if you're right, whatever you're thinking it was. <laughs> Guys, back to you. It's a million-dollar question. It is. You were working here at the time. I was. Was it the hot assignment? Uh, you know, you gosh, don't I don't really remember. Uh -huh. I really don't. I think I was working the morning shift, so I was asleep oh, yeah. when it happened. Uh, we always miss everything, yeah, We always don't miss we? the good stuff. Thanks, Lena.